Chris Pearson with Nebulosity. Thank you so, so much for joining. Uh, tonight is a wonderful, wonderful night. I got a big grin on my face for a reason. Uh, it's the first clear night in almost a month. It may not seem like much for those of you who aren't into this hobby, but for those of us who are, clear nights are a rarity. It just doesn't happen very often, it's certainly not in consecutive nights. So it's been about a month, and I'm very excited to say that I'm also gonna be testing out a couple of pieces of new equipment. The ZWO ASI 2600 MC Pro. That's a big one-shot color, dedicated astronomy camera with a APS-C crop sensor, a nice wide sensor. Uh, it's gonna be matched up with my Red Cat 51. Uh, that's a 250 millimeter uh, focal length quadruplet. It's a Petzval design. A wide field sort of refractor telescope that enables you to get really really wide objects up there uh, in space. So the ASI 2600, the Red Cat 51, I'm also going to be looking at using the Optolong L-Extreme narrowband filter. This is a dual, pa dual pass narrowband filter that's isolating about 7 nanometers of hydrogen alpha and oxygen. And that's really important because the California Nebula is an emission nebula, so a lot of rich hydrogen gas, uh, red color up there in the sky. This is a very popular object, certainly something that a lot of you who are watching this who are in this hobby I'm sure have shot many times. This is my first. Uh, speaking of which, before we go further into this channel, I just wanted to provide a shout out to all of the content producers, all the enthusiasts online. So many people have been doing this for so many years None of what I do would have been possible without your support. If you ever wondered what's on the other side of your videos, this is it. I came into this hobby in 2020 with little to no experience, and here I am shooting deep space objects just like the rest of us. And so, you know, I just wanted to get that out there and to let people know that there's a wonderful community of people on YouTube and other platforms as well who are ready to provide their guidance you may not always understand it, it may not always work for you, but I highly recommend to go out there and do your research because this hobby is more than attainable. Uh, it's, it's pleasurable, it's a wonderful thing. So having said all that, again, California Nebula, NGC 1499 in the constellation Perseus. Let's get to it. If you like what you've seen here, feel free to leave a comment below. And for all of you out there who are shooting the night sky, clear skies. Hey everybody, uh, we are running our sequence now. Uh, you can't really see it in the background over there, but uh, the rig is set up. Uh, we're getting images. I'm running right now eight minute subs uh, on the California Nebula, NGC 1499. Uh, right now it's just approaching Zenith um, and we're you know, hoping that we'll be able to get a good, perhaps two, three, we're really lucky four hours of data. It is really cold out here. Really cold out here. Really cold out here. I've got the the fan on the ZWO running at about minus 20 uh, Celsius. So hopefully that has a uh, you know an additional little boost to the uh, you know the quality of, of some of this raw data that we'll get. But in any case, um, it's the first clear night we've had in a long time. So I am not complaining whatsoever. 
you know in this hobby you have to take what you can get and tonight is one of those nights where uh, you just have to get out there. This, it's also a little bit gusty. Uh, I don't know if you can see in the background, just aside from all these cars, yes, light pollution. <laughs> um, the wind is blowing at about sort of between five to 10 miles an hour, although it is gonna die down a little bit. Uh, so the auto guiding has been a bit of a challenge, but again, just really hopeful that uh, at the end of the day, you know, we're able to, to pull something together. So uh, stay tuned.